how to bulk upload products on a Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can upload products on bulk within a CSV file on your Shopify store. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do right here is to visit Shopify. Right there, we have the admin dashboard of our account or our store. Go ahead and sign in or sign up for an account if you don't have one. Now, everything is set and everything is available. Now, we are on the dashboard ad board or the dashboard again, so we are going to visit the products. When you visit the products, as you can see, I have some products already set. These products, as, uh, as you can see, are added manually. Each one of them is added from a platform. There is a platform for dropshipping, such as CJ dropshipping, and also D search, and etc. And some of them are used and also added manually. For example, as you can see right there, the vendor is set for here my store. Now, let's proceed on how we can import those products. Now, to upload the product, you are going to click on import. And right there, it will demand you to get a CSV file. How we can create a CSV file? Either you go ahead to your computer and uh, visit Excel. For example, this is the uh, software that it is used to create CSV files or also XLS files. Or if you don't have Excel, you are going to visit Google Spreadsheet or Google Sheets. Go ahead and select or get the uh, Google spreadsheet or for their sheet, and then you are going to create your CSV file. How we can do that? We need the help of the Shopify Help Center. Using CSV files to import and export products. You can use a CSV or a comma separated values file to import products into your Shopify store and also to export them. So, this is a sample that Shopify will give you on how we can do that. You can go ahead and click on download a sample as a CSV file. I have already downloaded one, so I will let you see. This is the product and now we are going to see it. Here, as you can see, we have the cases. We have right there the handle, the category, we have the type, I think, or the name of the product and a lot of options. For example, for the value or the options where there are the variants, as you can read option name, option value, we have the SKU. Everything is not very, uh, as you can see, appealing. It is a little bit confusing, but bear with it. You have to do that. Also, you have to understand all of these because these are some necessary paths and also some necessary settings uh, and columns that we need to do. Now, let's go ahead and exit this one. I'm not going to save that, but I'm going to back to the Shopify Help Center. The first thing, you are going to download the uh, sample CSV file. Now, click on it, and here we have the formatting. As you can see, when you follow the steps from this one, you're going to see everything. For example, here we have the meta fields in CSV columns and etc. Now, let's go back to a little bit of the right there, uh, as you can see, uh, dictionary. I call it dictionary, but it, because if everything is uh, mentioned right there, it would be on the file or the CSV file. Right there, we are going to open again the CSV file and we are going to reduce it. Here we have the description of the columns in the product CSV file. We have the handle, which is the first column. And when you visit the XLS file or the sample, we can see it right there. Now, for the second one, we have the vendor, which is required. Each column has the default value created when the column is blank. For example, the first one, which is the handle, this value is created based on the value in the title column. For example, if the value in the title column is black sun glasses, then the value in this column is black sunglasses like that with some dashes. Now for the vendor, it is the same thing. Here, this is the dictionary of each individual column. You can see here the body, we have a lot. 
Now, when you finish that, you're going to set these and everything is separated with a comma. Now, this doesn't matter a lot, but if this is just an example, for example, example t-shirt, example t-shirt, Acme Apparel, well, right there, everything is separated with a comma. So, for example, if I want to set this or make these bulk right there, you are going to uh, right there into your Shopify store, click on import, and now we are going to add the file. Let's go ahead right there to the product template that we have added and the samples. And now we are going to overwrite publish new and upload and preview. Let's see right there the example that it is set. This is the preview. And as you can see, everything is set. Now we have the example t-shirt, the description, which is blank, uh, obviously because uh, Shopify has set it as blank, product status, product category, all of those you can go ahead and see them right there. Also the variants, product type, the vendor, which is Acme right there. As you can see, the vendor, it is Acme. Here, everything is set. The handle, the example t-shirt, the title is example t-shirt, the body, Acme, or the vendor is Acme, and etc. So, now I'm going to import that product and see it right there. Everything is set, and also a comma is separating all the values. So, whenever you set a color, you are going to separate it with a value. And the aligning, which is reading the columns within a Shopify store, is going to read all of these. So, we have this example t-shirt. Now, we're going to click on it and see it on here. We have the title, the description, also the photo. The photo or the media are set within a link. So, that link is published within Shopify somewhere. So, if you want to add these images, you're going right there into Shopify, then you're going to click on content. Before adding any photo, you're going to get the link of it. So go ahead and click on files, and then normally you are going to upload that file. And if you upload that file, you're going to get the link. So copy it, go back to the CSV right there, and put the link. For example, I think this is a link. Now we have burst.shopify CDN photo so this is a link of the beanie and also the uh, right there the shirt or something like that now everything is set within the product and here we have the csv or bulk csv uh, import now how can we import from another shop these type of things or these type of product i will let you see right there the example if you have finished reading all of these uh, specific um, words or values from the dictionary that I have called from here, you're going to be good to go. There's a lot and a lot of options. You can go ahead and let some of the steps or some of the values go away because you don't need anything or everything in here. Something there is some cases maybe could be uh, not necessary for you and something. Is not for example for the meta fields you can add them manually after you have added the product you can add uh, only the images the title the quantity and etc now let's ignore this step and i'm going to visit my wix account here on wix i have some examples product so these products i'm going to select a website and then we are going to proceed to the product and export them then we are going to try and import them on Shopify and see if everything is the same. So click on select and edit site uh, on any of the website that I will have added. In my case, I have added a store into my Wix account. So we are going to click on catalog. Right there on the catalog, we have a lot of things or a lot of items. Each individual item has its own photo. So all I have to do is to click on more action and then we are going to click on export. So we are going to download these items as CSV files. Click on export and here we have it. So now we are going to wait for the download to proceed and here we have it. Now I am going to try and add the products right there for Shopify. You are going back to products, import, CSV file, add a file and I will try to open that file. So upload and preview and we will see here if the 
product is set. As you can see, we have read or Shopify have read all of the products and they will give you the example. If you want to add them, click on import product and we'll wait for the product to be imported. So this language or the CSV file is generic and universal. Don't get fooled with all of these values and all of these numbers and words. They are nonsense. So pick, keep in mind, not pick in mind, keep in mind that everything is set manually. Everything is separated with a comma. Each value is separated for a comma. For example, the handle, the title, the body. If you want to read that, I'm going to let you read here the download the file. So I'm going to open it in front of you. And as you can see, it is a little bit different from the uh, last one. We have handheld, field type, name, description, product, image, and etc. I'm going to see right there if everything is added. Now I'm going to refresh that page. And normally it will take a little bit of time to add all of the products that we have on the um, right there on the Wix. So we are going to let it right there. Unisex have a guarantee. So this is the product that has been uh, modified right there or added. So we are going to check it. Now, uh, this is it right there. These are some uh, examples, so it will not be added. These are not uh, real items. So we are going to see here. Everything is set right there and the price is $39.99. Here we have only the image that hasn't been added. So I, as I told you before, you are going to content files, then you are going to set the files or you can add them manually from the product page. And here we have the end of the video, which is resumed on only few steps. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.